Hello, Shalom, Ras Tafari. You recall when His Imperial Majesty, our God Father, when He He um He was asked about being uh, Jesus Christ or the return Messiah, and He said, "I'm a man, I'm mortal. I will be replaced by the oncoming generation." And He spoke about how He spoke to certain Rastafarians, and He and He um spoke very clearly to them and let them know that he is man, he is mortal, he will be replaced by the oncoming generation, and that they must never, that we as Rastafari must never make the mistake in pretending or assuming that man is emanated from a deity. Now, the commentator goes on to blah, blah, said despite this clear declaration, but it, clearly his majesty did not say he was not the return Messiah, but I want you to check this out, and we'll get into into the, the, the research a little bit deeper. Now, this is um, Albert Pike, your race is one of the highest so-called Freemasons. We're in a series right now that we're posting up on the Ethiopian World Net, where we're touching on this subject matter. We want you to check this part out. Notice the contrast between so-called Lucifer, who is uh, Caesar Borgia, in other words, or well, that's another image, another spin of that, um, the so-called white Jesus, right? And then we have Adonai, right? Adonai, the black Messiah, right? The black Messiah. Now, I want you to put this together, brothers and sisters. Now, check this out. It's going to give a little bit from morals and dog dogma, right? Morals and dogma, one of the um, so-called Eurocentric Freemasonic books. And this will clear up much if you pay attention, all right? Let's play this part right here. It's stated by many researchers. By the most honored mason in American history. His name is General Albert Pike. And this guy is one of two masons who has the honor of being buried in the house of the temple in Washington, D.C. You will have a lot of masons try and tell you, because if you read Albert Pike's material, you will find out that he's an antichrist, that he's a Luciferian, that he mocks Christianity, that he denies the virgin birth, that he denies the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that he calls the early Christian fathers dunces. Fight, yeah. This is all in morals and dogma. The book which is virtually the Bible of the Scottish Rite. In his book, Morals and Dogma, he states the following in regard to Lucifer. Lucifer is a light bearer, strange and mysterious name to get the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the son of the morning, is it he who bears the light? Doubt is not. He later asserts the following in relation to Satan. For the initiates, this is not a person, but a force, created for good, by which we may serve for evil. It is the instrument of liberty or free will. They represent this force, which presides over the physical generation, under the mythologic and horned form of the god Pan. Thence came the he goat of the Sabbath, brother of the ancient serpent, and the light bearer, or phosphor, of which the poets have made the fourth Lucifer of the legend. Who this Lucifer was, the Lucifer of Freemasonry and the mystery religions, was revealed later by Pike in the following statement in the same volume. The Masonic religion should be, by all of us, initiated of the high degree maintained in the purity of the Luciferian doctrine. If Lucifer were not God, would Adonai, whose deeds prove his cruelty, possibly hatred of man, barbarism, and repulsion of science, would Adonai and his priests culminate him? Yes, Lucifer is God, and unfortunately, Adonai is also God. For the eternal law is that there is no light without shade, no beauty without ugliness, no white without black. Are you over that right there? You see the contrast that's being made? Right? This is uh this is what so called modern European Freemasonry. Let's distinguish Freemasonry from Masonry in the Bible and Scripture and the and the Hiram of Tyre in the Bible from this um from this make believe or this modern uh Freemasonic Eurocentric. I want you to understand how deep the, the rabbit hole goes right here. It says Here's what um, Albert Pike, he says, right? And he also is reputed to have founded the Ku Klux Klan. So overstand this black-white contrast. It says, yes, they say Lucifer is God, and unfortunately, 
Adonai is also God. So see, play this trick with the large G and the small G. For the eternal law, says Albert Pike, is that there is no light without shade, no beauty without ugliness, no white without black. And now the contrast is between Lucifer, right, and Adonai. All right, Adonai, Adonai Yeshua, Hamushia, our black Lord and Savior, the black Messiah. Now it goes on to say, for the absolute can only exist as two gods. This is the false um, um, Freemasonic rhetoric. You know what I'm saying? Haile Selassie the first is not a Freemason. You know what I'm saying? Let's make that very clear. You know what I'm saying? And we touched on that with David and with Solomon and with the real Hiram. Even Solomon had power given by the Almighty over the demons. So the demons worked for him. Now let's understand that. So it says, for the absolute can only exist as two gods, darkness being necessary for light to serve as, a, as its foil, as the pedestal is necessary for the state. For the absolute can only exist as two gods, that must be necessary for light to serve as its foil, as the pedestal is necessary to the state. Thus, the doctrine of Satanism is a heresy, and the true and pure philosophical religion is the belief in Lucifer. Equal of Adonai, but Lucifer, God of light and God of good, is struggling for humanity against Adonai, the God of darkness and evil. Family be all. Now that should be that should be very very clear to all of you. That contrast right there says so Lucifer, Halal Hashachar, the son of the morning, against Adonai. All right, it's the so-called white supremacy. Understand that. Right? And we know who Albert Pikey was. You understand what he stood for. Founding Ku Klux Klan. You understand developing the Scottish and Yorkish right and so forth and so on. And this is why we say there's Imperial Majesty. Edomari Haile Salah, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, is not a so called Freemason. Haile Salah the first is the stone which the builders refuse, which has become the head of the corner. Shalom Ras Tafari.